Hello and welcome to Shodosar classes. Today we'll talk a bit about block diagonal matrix. Now before we go into that, we will discuss about block matrices which are basically matrices they are matrices defined defined using smaller matrices smaller matrices and these smaller matrices are called blocks let's take a small example m equals 1 2 3 1 4 5 6 0 7 8 9 1 0 1 2 0 and we can divide them like so or rather partition them like so which is equal to something of the form a b c d wherein just let me scroll this up and here a equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, B equals 1, 0, 1, and C equals 0, 1, 2, and 0, 1, 2, and D equals 0. Now we know what block diag block matrices are. We can now define what block diagonal matrices are. Let's go to the definition. Uh, block diagonal matrix. Uh, block diagonal matrix is a block matrix. Block matrix in which is essentially which is a square matrix and having and having the main diagonal main diagonal blocks square matrices such that such that the off diagonal blocks are zero matrices that is the definition so how can we visualize them we have let us suppose a equals to a11 a one two dot 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 a one q a two one a two two dot 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 a two q and up till a q one a q two dot 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 a q q this will also be dot 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 and when we partition it a is a block diagonal matrix or alternatively this has been partitioned into this has been partitioned such that a alpha beta 
is equal to 0 whenever alpha not equal to beta. So, for any n cross n matrix A can be maximally partitioned maximally partitioned be maximally partitioned into block diagonal matrix null matrix with R squared sub matrices sub matrices for some R for some R where some R where 1 less than equal to R less than equal to N such that such that oops let me just write that out cleanly such that such that basically this condition holds this condition holds the partition is unique in the sense that a the, let me just write it a is equal to a1 0 dot 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 0 0 a2 dot 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 0 0 0 a r 6 0 and also let's say and also it was partition so it was partitioned partitioned in the form as a equal to a1 dash 0 dot 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 0 0 0 2 dash dot dot a r dash dot 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 0 0 then a alpha is equal to a alpha dash for one less than equal to alpha less than equal to r. So how do we partition in real life? Let's go on to the next page. Consider a matrix A which is equal to uh, which is equal to zero x zero 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 x 0 0 0 0 0 x 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 and the last line is 0 0 0 0 x and then consider the alternative choices for the first partition we'll be considering either by choosing this or by choosing this row and this this column and this row or by choosing this column or this row and choosing this column or this row and so on and so forth so and so what we are essentially doing in each alternative we move the partition lines down one row we move move hang on move partition lines down one row and move the partition lines right one column now knowing where to stop we stop we stop at the point at the point when 
there are only zeros below and to the right of the candidate sub matrix so our first sub matrix shall be a 3 cross 3 matrix in the upper left which is basically let me wipe this entire thing out and write this properly to erase the size one change just here so basically I'll show you what I'm considering as my a1 in a minute so that's now gone zero how do I write here zero so it's a 3 cross 3 matrix in our upper left corner this is 3 and this is 3 this is how we considered our a1 and then we repeat the process drawing new partition lines down one row and write one column which is basically this column and this row now since this is the only matrix is the only entry rather that has zeros zeros below it below it and to the right of it we choose this as our second matrix a2 we have already considered a1 as the upper upper left 3 cross 3 matrix and then we now considered a2 now since we cannot draw any further partitioning lines we have chosen the matrix in our lower right i'm not going to write it here to make it even more dirtier than it is so a3 is basically our lower right one cross one matrix and as you can see from here this cannot be done any further so and based on the process we followed it is pretty apparent that the or rather it's pretty plausible that this is the only way only way to partition to partition a into block diagonal form with three sub matrices sub matrices on the diagonal and still have it be block diagonal which pretty much reinforces it reinforces the uniqueness, uniqueness. so that is how we partition block diagonal matrices into further block diagonal matrices if you like our video please subscribe or leave us a comment if you didn't understand any part that's it for now thank you for watching